How was up, y'all? I was popping with cracking it. Do you about to react to this app and preach vids titled IG versus reality? Plastic surgeon is shocked. A few people have asked me to react to this, said that is wild, and they want to hear my opinion. So, okay. Let's see what's so shocking. Let's watch. Their age. Okay. Guess if they're natural or not. And then um, say what we did they Okay. What? So basically, this is a plastic surgeon, very professional, popular, and he's going to guess the age of the women and whether or not they're natural. Okay, oh, let's hear. Oh, and they're all from Love Island, which is a show in the UK where basically, um, I keep hearing about it. Right? trash society get together and see if they can pretend is to be long enough to get enough votes to win a lot of money and then break up right after God the show. Damn, there you go. Well, Jesus, I'm just saying, you, you really went in. My, my description. That's pretty accurate. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say she's 32. She's 38, lips, nose. Yeah, that's how she's had some more doctors, in my opinion. Yeah, how's it? 42. 30 yes. 30. Cheeks, lips, nose, fake lashes, brows. Never mind, I don't know. Her Oops, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> Are those two different voters of the same person? Yes, they're both. Yeah, they look different. The jawline is different. To to be fair to the contestants, Love Island does them dirty in a lot of the pictures. Cause like, if you ever watch Love Island, like their own commentators are constantly roasting the people on yeah. the show. So I feel like even the way they set them up, they set them up to be hateable. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, they're the same person. The two different photos. This is like her on Instagram. This uh, is her like. That's the trend that was going on last year. I don't know if you get, the girls did a reverse raccoon eyes, like where everything was kind of uh, dark here, and then they had. You this are ashy, like, really preach. That make me feel. Oh, that's a trend. That was a trend. Reverse rac. I call it reverse raccoon eyes. I don't know how to. I reverse did. raccoon. Reverse raccoon eyes, yeah. But reverse raccoon, it's just all of this around the eye was really clear, mm. almost blanched, you know? <laughs> and all it was dark, dark around gotcha. it. And that's what she got right there, reverse raccoon. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I'm, I'm going to look at a real photo? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, she's... Uh, 45. She's, she's 35. Lips, veneers, Botox. Maybe a little cheek filler. Thirty-two lips, ears, nose, cheeks. How old did you say? Oh, that girl was probably twenty-nine. What? Her? She's probably like twenty-seven. 29, what? Thirty. Same with her. She's 29? like thirty. Okay. Like twenty. Second step, you get the fillers. <laughs> Third is the Yo, this generation aging like milk. 
Because you know what? When I was growing up, people was hitting their 20s. Like, they looked their age. I don't want to shame these ladies. I need more pictures to make a more accurate assessment. Because I feel like these pictures, it was difficult to say. And they looked a little altered, too. I don't know. It looked a little off. And then when they had situations where they had two pictures. Was that everybody? Anyway, two pictures. They looked totally different in both pictures. So, I don't know. They looked their age very much. These... They age it way faster, it feels like. Yeah. But and they yeah, I think it's not necessarily like it's not necessarily a bad look. I know some people that use fillers and stuff like that. They really there's some people that I know that look good. I know some people that go overboard, but they 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 look good. I think. All the times that I've seen lip filler, yeah, you could tell. Outside of the photos they take in real life, it does look good. Mm -hmm. Cause it stretches the skin around the lip in a weird way where you can feel it and you can see it. Like it's just not natural. Like feel and when you're looking at it, it just looks off. Then you realize lip filler is like you can the feel one it. That's <laughs> you know that. I don't read uh, <laughs> uh, feelings very well on people's face. And I came to realize it's not so much that I'm autistic, is that sometimes people put so much filler in their eyebrows that I can't even tell if you're happy or mad. Oh my god, you piss me off so much. Your face don't move. When I'm pissed off, you know I'm pissed off. You know what I mean? I go like that. I frown. There's some creases. People are allergic to, to the, oh, I got these lines. You're supposed to have lines over here. So they raise all this. They raise all this. I'm going to show you. Why is that? I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like maybe, I, maybe I should reconsider the Botox that I was going to get. Uh, maybe he's going to make me look worse. He's in deep thought. He does this sometimes. I've been wondering, what did you think about? But... This girl. Let me see. Look how the eyebrows don't move ever. Bro, she got that that Instagram explorer. My face. She got it don't move. But you see how none of this move, and even the lip. I think like. Real oh lady, God, that girl looks good, lady. She put it there. My hair. Like I'm so pissed. It don't move. I'm so happy. I My get hair. Now you having fillers making me autistic because I can't read. Nothing that's going on. I don't know if you're sarcastic. Don't try to blame me on that. Really, that's fine. It just is 25. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously I don't watch this show. Maybe I should, but this is crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, you know, plastic plastic surgery and injectables done incorrectly can make... Crazy, crazy, because you, you are the dealer. <laughs> Of the drugs to the face, you you are a part of the problem, sir. And and they love saying that. Oh, when you don't, you know, you know, apply it correctly. The the issue is everybody everybody's body and face is different. And I've heard that sometimes the filler will migrate to places it's not supposed to. You ain't got no control over that, buddy. You feel me? So I feel like doctors will try to clean it up and be like, well, you know, when I do it, it's different because I'm professional. All these niggas is professionals. And obviously, skill level varies, but they always try to make it seem like, well, with me, it's different if you come to me. No, you should be discouraging this across the board, bro, because everybody look crazy. These celebrities who got all this money, they be putting all this shit in their face, they look crazy. Thank you look older. Oh, man. I thought you were going to end this on a wholesome note. You said, because y'all got a bad surgeon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Talk about it. They just roasted the work that they got done. No, but this, he's not wrong. I don't, he's not wrong. Like, I don't think it's just the. I don't. Shit. I don't believe that anymore. I used to think that, but I don't think that anymore because I'm seeing way too many celebrities with bad work done, and it's like, bro, you gotta think about it. They have money. They have all the money in the world. They have access to all the best surgeons, best doctors, best this, best that, and they still be looking crazy. And you could say, oh, well, maybe some of them overdo it. Sometimes they do, but you can't put that on everybody who look bad. I don't think they all are overdoing it, the ones that look bad. I think sometimes it's just, you know, their body probably doesn't respond to it well. It, it moves in places it shouldn't. It start looking crazy over time. And I, just, I, I think just overall, it's not a good thing to get. And you have some surgeons and doctors who are actually honest. I, I've seen them say that they don't recommend it at all. And I trust those people. But this nigga to my, mm, went to the wrong one. No. I've got someone, someone, someone I know went to, to for a consultation for fillers, and that person was like, so, so I don't want. She was saying, the, 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 she was saying to the, to the doctor, how big are my lips gonna be? And the person was like, the doctor. And the person said, I, we we don't know, we can't tell. Oh. What? No, 
we, we don't know. I mean, let's be honest, because you don't we know. don't know. We don't know how your body gonna respond. We don't know. <laughs> you might also start getting like inflammation in your face because your body don't like it. Because again, everybody is different. And then and then what? Like they can't really say. And doctors, they're so big headed, bro. <laughs> they think they God. They think they Jesus. They think that you know they are the best of the best. But it's like in reality, the body is fighting against this shit because it's not natural. The body don't like these foreign substances. So sometimes your body is gonna be like, no, nah, fuck out of here. Get this out. Get this out. You know, or no, let's move it. You know, so the doctors, they don't really know. They do a lot of guessing, honestly. And not to take away from what they do, but bro, don't trust these people telling y'all they're going to show more pictures. No, they just talk shit. Don't trust these people and don't get these procedures done. You know, just, just get old and it's fine. <laughs> get old like the rest of us <laughs> and just accept, accept your faith, you know, work on your skincare and, you know, do the best you can, but you can't you can't fight against father time. Very interesting stuff though. Um, but yeah, we're just constantly seeing these videos that discourage fillers, Botox, BBLs, and I like the direction we're going in honestly because for so many years uh, all these things were encouraged and all these celebrities, you know, have regular people wanting to get these things done. But I feel like we're uh, shifting more into the natural territory. And I love that for us as a society. Finally, we're doing something right. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye!